All right, we've got our two teams, Ghost Gaming and Girls, are in their seats. They've got hands on controllers and just doing a little pre match conversation here. So I'm going to hand it over to Quinn and Wavepunk to take us into the action once again. Oh boy. You see, you notice that the Greasy Meister and Scrub Killer on Girls are wearing different jerseys because these are the two players who are left over from their respective 3v3 rosters and said, hey, let's form a team, let's compete. And right now, they've actually made it further, at least Scrub Killer made it further than the duo of the rest of his team. So here he is in the finals, they're not. And he's happy to see how far he can make it here in Stanford. Yeah, both Scrub Killer and Greasy Meister, these are some very, very fast players. Some of the fastest in the game and definitely, I think, some favorites in the tournament. When game number one gets underway, we see girls with an opportunity on offense, but no goal to show for it. And then goes able to break out into the blue for a moment, but now girls back up on offense here. Lethemir winning the touch in the corner. They'll try to carry it over the top of Greasy Meister, start to open up some space. Scrub Killer falling back quickly. Memory in to take the shot. Brought Greasy Meister taking the save there. They brought Scrub Killer out, but Greasy Meister actually managed to rotate around quickly and make that save and keep us scoreless here in match number one, game number one. There's Greasy on an open net. Is it in? It is. It'll just drop right in. An aggressive offense from Ghost does leave their half open. And a great clear from Scrub Killer to set it up. You see memory oh. that he tries to get in the way of the ball there, but Lethemir is right behind him, falling up on the wall, and just kind of made Lethemir redundant there with that touch and putting that straight to the center. Good follow up there from Greasy Meister. Yep. 402 left to go. A minute in game number one. The girl is already scoring. Greasy Meister waiting in net. Lethemir out first. Greasy will get contact. Now scrub. Ball on the side, flick to Greasy, shot towards the net quickly. Lethemir is up, gets it onto his own backboard, but here comes Scrub Killer with a follow-up. Memory's in net, ready for it, and he gets the save. The hold on the ball control, Greasy tries to pop it over the top of Memory. He just sets up the ball for Lethemir, takes a shot towards the net, Scrub Killer in from the side, cleared away. Scrub Killer into his corner. Scrub Killer, the first Batmobile we've seen today. Longer car. A bit, a bit more power on his flicks. Just a little slightly longer reach there, but really maybe a little bit harder to control, a little bit less well-rounded in the octanes that everybody else is driving right now. His teammate, Fairy Peak, known so well for using the same car. I'm sure he's learned quite a few tips, a, little, a few tricks there. You can see he always opts to go for those, those you know, air dribbles to just go for the delayed flicks there, something that the Batmobile is so, so good at. Crazy Meister following the memory. Off his own backboard, makes solid contact. Looking here over the top of two. Scrub Killer has to buy some time here on the retreating defense to be able to get it away from memory. Greasy Meister waiting in that. Looking shot. Double commitment with Scrub Killer and Greasy both on the ground quickly. Shouldn't hurt him too badly. The shot's coming from the corner. Scrub Killer makes another save. Having to play a lot of defense right now. Girls trapped in their own half. I think Greasy finally get it over the top of one. And then win the 50 50 with the other. The ball will end up in the orange corner. Looking here. Thinking about moving out as Memory gets the demolition in the corner. That'll open up some space. Scrub Killer's needing to buy time for Greasy Meister to get back on the field. Greasy in the corner. Looks for the boost. I don't think he got it. I think Memory actually successfully grabbed his own boost. And now on the counterattack, it's just Greasy in the back. Scrub Killer just creating interference from behind. And Greasy's able to move up quickly. We've seen this already quite a few times. Greasy Meister, he's the one who opts to go for that challenge and let Scrub follow up. I think using the Batmobile's ability to get a lot of power on the ball with not as much boost. 140 on the clock, Greasy Meister through the air, looking for a pinch with Scrub. Even in enemy territory, then it leaves the backfield pretty open here. Memory and Lethemir are able to get back down the field and tie up this game. One minute and 33 seconds left. And here, Lethemir just reading Greasy Meister like a book, positioned so far up the field. That, that touch from Greasy, it seemed like he thought Scrub Killer was behind him well, instead of underneath Well, I mean, I think he saw them both combine for that first touch, going for that pinch, but he should have pushed that ball across the net to the other side of that corner. I think just a little bit of a mind fart there. Well, Greasy Meister getting bumped in the orange memory now towards the backboard. Scrub Killer up, past one. Lethemir, back in, over the top of one, an open net, Scrub Killer coming up from the ground, should be able to get this one away. Lethemir trying to come back around, he gets demolished, Memory on a failed clear from Scrub Killer will finish it off, and that's the lead there for Ghost. 
Yeah, Memory did a good job here, playing so patiently there. And you see Griezmeister and Scrub, a big mistake. Both of them double committing for that same ball. They're going for that same save. There's no trust and getting punished for it. Now, a minute and 10 left to go, Ghost. They, oh my goodness, the kickoff will tie it right back up. I was about to say that they, were, they finally got the lead back, but this is the nature of 2v2. Look at this double. This double commitment here, Greasy with a great cheat up there, just bullies, bulldozers through Scrub Killer to get the goal. Yeah, but just pushing through the op both players on the opposite team and Scrub Killer as well. And now, just like that, it's all tied back up. Anybody's game in game number one. First to three wins stays in the upper bracket. Clear down the field. Left him here in this corner. Riesia Meister doesn't even challenge, just falls back for ball control. Tries to pass across to Scrub. The ball makes it past his teammate. He's having to play in the ball chasing, shadowing style. Can work very well in 2v2. Demolition on the Scrub Killer will open up the backfield. It's just Greasy. You can see him immediately turn around just to play defensively. Trying to read the passes and actually manages to get the play all by himself in the air. What a shot from Greasy. This is some heroic effort of a what shot here. This? Going for the block there. He just tries to get in front of left in here, but being able to get that 50-50 into the ceiling and back down onto his own car there, there's no defender. That's the that's the danger of going for those cross field passing plays in 2v2. You have no third player to protect the goal in a situation like that. Just bouncing off of left mirror. Being able to successfully read the ball in time to orient his car properly. That one passed Scrub Killer. Memory will have an open net, but Greasy Meister does rotate it in quickly enough. He'll be able to make the save. Greasy Meister win the 50 50 with Lethemir. Scrub Killer up. Shot down the field. Memory on the backboard with nine seconds left, down by one. We need to find a way to get aggressive right now and find a goal. The Greasy Meister up. Off the backboard, Scrub Killer in, just needs to kill it. He'll actually just take the shot out right, best way, to make sure there's no chance of them rotating out. Puts in one more goal, the buzzer beetle will seal it. Just more meals for Soylent here. That's right. It's going at zero second goal here. I mean, that was an interesting last minute or so of gameplay there, being able to see Greasy Meister in that 2v1 situation. It looked like he was in a lot of danger. He realized, I need to challenge the ball right away. Being able to turn that into into a winning goal. Mm. Yeah, no, it was it was very impressive performance there from girls. So they're able to beat Ghost on that one. And Greasy Meister getting a hat trick there. Scrub Killer only having to put in one. Got two of the assists. Seven shots from Greasy Meister. A lot of the aggression being led here by the veteran. Just 10 shots on both sides. But we saw a lot more danger, I think, honestly, coming from Ghost, I want to say. It felt like Greasy Meister and Scrub Killer on girls we're really sitting in the net quite a bit here, but there were just some big mistakes here coming from Ghost, where we would see both players committing to the ball a little too early. Well, one of their mistakes here, or one of the mistakes from girls there that Ghost was able to capitalize on was one of their goals. So even a bit of weaknesses here from the Europeans, but so far, the offensive pressure, the offensive like impact has been felt on the side of Ghost. Even there, another mistake. Both the goals we saw from Ghosts came on defensive errors from girls, but still, this one helped even things back up, and then the next two goals, great performances, and honestly, I don't know. Greasy Meister, that's insane. Sort of like, some. You, you tell me, Quinn, some luck, some skill, combination of the two. How I, think, I think if we ask Greasy Meister, that's all skill, of no course, luck. Of course, he would say that. But uh, that is <laughs> really fortunate, I would say. Fortunate, I mean, it's a, good it's word. A, I want to say that there was a huge risk there taken from Ghost to go for that passing play. Greasy mm. Meister, he did recognize how important it was to just get in the way. There was no other defender. If he does block that, if he can land quickly, I mean, that the possibility is there to score a goal. And I think well, that he he went for that opportunity. Oh, and remember that Scrub Kill had just been demoed moments before that. So the pass play may be making sense. I don't think that, I don't think it was complete one. luck, essentially. For sure. Oh, I think Greasy, I mean. I couldn't have done it. Greasy Meister definitely has the skills and the wherewithal to read the play and make the shot. And Greasy Meister, we talked to him beforehand, he's here to prove himself. He's here to show that he can do this. He's been a champion before, and he wants to be one again. So scrub killer. You're up on offense, his memory in his own corner. After dropping game one, we know Ghost will be looking to bounce back in game two. Nice plays from girls, though, to keep this ball in the orange. Scrub Killer just waiting. Lethemir misses and Scrub Killer will take a shot. Memory into the corner. Breezy Meister. Picking up ball control now. Back out from the orange corner. Finally into the blue. Scrub with a pop over left. Memory 
versus Greasy Meister. Looking for the flick over the top. Able to pinch it off of memory. Send it out quickly. Here comes Scrub. Slowly contested by Lefmir, ends up in the orange corner. The defenders kiss a little bit in net and then space back out. The pressure starting to build here for girls. Scrub tries to push it through, but memory. Winning the 50-50 back into the corner. Now Greasy Meister using the corner to his advantage, putting it across the goal. But a great clear from left to send it back into the blue. Now Scrub Killer. Back on defense. Rotate past Greasy. Get us back out to midfield. Nice flick and a demolition on the left. And there's just memory here. He's got to make the play past Greasy, and he does so. Gets it all the way out by himself. Lethemir will be coming off. A little bit of boost and ready to try and pick up the pass. Here he comes. The shot goes wide. And Greasy and Scrub Killer on the counterattack. The shot also a bit wide at the goal. Very solid defensive play here coming from memory. Multiple saves with, with zero boost. This guy's been an absolute hero here for Ghost. A lot of pressure though from girls continuing to scrub killer. Oh. Misses on the post. Greasy Meister with another shot. His memory's backwards and he will make it worthwhile. That's a 1-0 lead there for girls. And Greasy Meister initially making his name as an offensive powerhouse here. You can just see why. Look at the power he gets on that shot. It's difficult to really pick and choose a, a place there. He could have put that one anywhere. It felt like Ghost here was really hanging on by a thread there by the offensive pressure here from girls. The girls making use these first two minutes very effectively. The lead in the series, not a lead in game two as well. Scrub killer, you know, over the top of left memory, pops it high and greasy. Looks for the read, gets airborne, and beats Lethemir to the ball. Coming back out, scrub killer, nobody in net. He just lofts it high and greasy's falling all the way back. Will work out as Memory wins the 50-50. Greasy tries to keep it on the ground, but Memory reads it. Now Greasy needed to get up high, get there before Lethemir does. Lethemir stayed on the ground. He saw Greasy Meister get up very quickly. Oh, Greasy, another pop. No boost, though. He'll have to fall back. And memory with the back pass to Lethemir. He didn't, I'm not sure he realized the boost situation in girls. But scrub killer, what a win in the corner. Tries to win another one, but Memory's there. The 50-50s from Memory have been something that Ghost have been able to rely on this series despite not being able to get the lead. Sure, when, when you have a player who's hitting such solid 50-50s continuously, it becomes, it's really important in 2v2 because those 50-50s oftentimes, that's what sets up a goal. Just something as small as a, a 1 50-50. Uh, double commit there from Greasy and Scrub that left them very high in the air. Lethemir wasn't able to find the shot. Greasy Meister with another follow-up, a good play there from Lethemir to clear it away. Memory now on the counterattack, gets it past Scrub, and Greasy Meister will be the next one to the ball. Plays it back into the corner. A little block the shot from Lethemir. No counterattack, a bump. Memory falling back to net. Greasy tries to pop it high, not sure where he was going with that one. A scrub killer was already upfield. It works out as they get the ball back in midfield, pop it back towards the ghost goal. With one minute and a half left to go in game number two. Right now still holding on to the one goal lead. Girls playing some more defense. And now back up to midfield. Looking to hold on to this by himself. See if he can bring out some defenders. Nobody taking the bait though. This crowd killer. Back up to mid. A miss from Lethemir. A bump onto memory. Greasy is out of boost, not able to make a fast shot. And Lethemir has time to recover. And on the final minute, still a one goal game. Girls, they've held on to the lead the whole game, but still, that one goal margin could be eliminated at any point from a fluke pinch from the corner or a simple defensive mistake. The Ghost, everything to play for here in the last 45 seconds. We saw in game one a lot more offensive demolition play, bump play here coming from Ghost. Now opting to play a little bit more passive. We see a lot more mirroring and just, just shadowing coming from Lethemir following memory. Lethemir. Up in front, the ball goes past both of them. Memory has to fall back and loop around. 25 seconds remaining. Just needing to find one goal to send us to overtime. A demolition on the memory in enemy territory. And scrub killer, plenty of room to be aggressive. Greasy Meister with a shot, and that demolition on the memory actually spawns the goalie in behind him. Scrub killer with a save. The final 10 seconds. Double miss on the air. Greasy Meister with a shot down the field, and that one should seal the deal. The miss on the side from both players. Just opening up the midfield, and Greasy Meister's there first. Memory. Not able to get there in time. I think just kind of going for that last ditch effort, Ghosts were recognizing just not enough time on the clock to make a play happen here. Those kinds of risks can always just lead to the game ending and being completely out of hand in the final few seconds there. Ghosts needed the kickoff goal. 
And they didn't find it, so that means game two will be in the bag here for girls as they've taken the first two. One game away from a sweep of Ghost. Ghost needing to figure themselves out right now because they're going to have to win three straight if they want to stay in the upper bracket. Just all around solid, solid control here coming from girls. They're doing a lot better job, I think, compared to game one, not falling for the double commit nearly as much. We saw much, significantly better communication here on girls' side. And I think maybe a loss of confidence here coming from Ghost. It felt like I saw them just willing to take more risks, play more aggressive. Here, what used to be 10 shots aside, now we mm -hmm. see only three shots here. And let's take a look at what happened here in game number two. What made girls so successful? Here you can see that first play there, just the ball constantly hitting off the post, but Greasy Meister following up. And it's not like that was a trend this game. Greasy Meister continuously following up on that ball. Yeah, the continuous pressure. He's been great in this entire series so far. Only two goals there in game number two, but they were both on the side of girls. They're able to take that two game lead right now. We, we talked to Scrub Killer beforehand too. One of the fun things is he is one of the biggest streamers in Rocket League because you're able to stream at an earlier age than you were able to compete professionally. So he's like, well, if I can't compete in the tournaments, I'm going to go out and stream a lot. So he's made a name for himself on the Twitch community. But when we talked to him yesterday, like, which would you rather do, keep streaming or become a pro? And he says, absolutely be a pro. He would absolutely, he's been chomping at the bit to get this opportunity. You can see him there, Scrub Killer, the young, <laughs> such a prodigy this guy is and he's so calm and collected it's really incredible to see how comfortable somebody so young can be in a competitive environment in or on a stage nonetheless that's not easy with all these lights with right, foreign environments and mm -hmm. he's been traveling as well he's been calm and collected and confident i've never seen a player in his first competitive environment like this he's played in tournaments before but in a in a official like sanctioned event like this this is the first time he's been able to compete and he is confident he can beat all of these guys no problem yeah, you just don't want to be on the receiving end of nope. any talk from Scrub Killer, because trust me, he talks a lot of trash. Well, game three, can he back it up? Can they get to sweep over Ghost? We'll find out. It's do or die time for the boys from North America. Memory and Greasy on the kickoff. Goes in Ghost's favor, and Scrub Killer doesn't have a great response to it. Again, the 50-50s from Memory, solid this entire series. Lethemir. Trying to bait in Scrub Killer, but the challenge goes girls' way. And memory, pass Greasy. A nice touch to eliminate Scrub Killer as well, but Greasy gets back before Lethemir can make the shot. Can he get the block here as well? Actually, both players miss. I think Lethemir's expecting Greasy to make contact and backed off. And now, on the flip side, here comes Scrub Killer off the ceiling, gets the oh! pitch, and it goes in. Are you kidding me? What proficiency from the rookie. This is so confident. Scrub gets that boost. He gets that first touch, brings the ball onto the ground, and immediately oh. goes for the pinch there. And you see Lethemir not covering that corner of the goal, going straight to the left. He's trying to make sure he has all options available, but he did not expect the speed of that pinch to outpace both defenders. And that was insane, and on the other side, 2v2s happen. The kickoff goal goes in, <laughs> one mistake and one misposition means that we're all tied up, a double commit <laughs> on kickoff. Both the players are going for the kickoff. That is questionable to say the least that, there. Maybe Not the mistake I'm expecting from this level of these, this caliber of players. It's simply just a miscommunication, but still. And back to the drawing board. We're all tied back up. That's the thing about Rocket League. The crazy, amazing goals are worth just as many as the freebies here. Lethemir, man, Greasy Meister by himself able to fend off Lethemir. And Lethemir has been a player that many people have talked about as being a very annoying, scary, frustrating player to play against. He's very good at being exactly where you don't want him to be, but it feels like he's just not had quite the proficiency today that we have seen from him in the qualifiers and in of previous events. Yeah, he's a very gritty player, if you will. He's so good in the room. Wow, fantastic save there from Greasy Meister, but Lethemir, like right here, these are the opportunities where Lethemir thrives, and you're normally used to seeing him control the ball. And this time, his touch off of the hit from Scrub Killer will go backwards. Then motion on Lethemir leaves memory in net. He'll be up in time. The shot's high, anyways. Scrub Killer now back around into the corner. Up high, looking for the counter on memory. Down to the backboard once more. Lethemir with a great clear out to midfield. Gives Greasy Meister control and he finds Scrub Killer on the wall. Now towards the backboard, it's memory again. Backboard positioning from memory. It's been instrumental in the defense of Ghost. Lethemir now looking for the pass. 
Memory respecting Greasy Meister's positioning. Oh dear, the ball goes past Scrubs. He was going for boost. I don't think he was ready for the ball to be coming his way. Greasy Meister. Able to handle this by himself. He's got the ball back in the orange versus Memory again. Another shot towards the goal, another save for Memory. Yeah, an easy play there. I don't think Memory maybe knew how much boost Greasy Meister had that it was going to be a difficult shot to get any power on for him. Memory lofting this one high, and Greasy Meister able to beat Lethemir to the ball. And now Scrub Killer versus Memory in a 1v1. The 1v1 master here of Scrub Killer. Can he get it? He can with the brilliant plays. Oh my goodness. Pay attention here. Scrub Killer actually has no boost. He gets the ball on top of his car. He hits the pad. He gets just enough. Memory expecting the potential delayed flicker air dribble. He goes for the pre jump, jumps up high in the air, and Scrub Killer is full of mind games. No boost, no prob. One of the biggest 1v1 tournaments in the world, the 12 Titans. There's been two of them. You know who won them both seasons? Scrub Killer. Both the times. one Titan. The one Titan. There's only one. And that's a lead now. It's on two massive goals from Scrub Killer. Here in game three. It's a save as well to boot. He is playing a great game here in his first series on the Universal Open Grand Final stage. Breezy Meister with a clear out to midfield. Lethemir lofting it high. Memory's thinking about it, but he falls back. And actually, Lethemir was going to be the first one up to engage the ball. Now, Memory over the top of Greasy. Greasy puts it to the corner. One minute and 50 seconds remaining. And a nice pass down in front, but Memory not quite there. And in 2v2s, to be that tightly positioned on the goal, you have to score, or it just is a risk of having another goal go in. And Memory just wasn't willing to take that risk. Flip side, they make some defensive stops and now have ball control back in midfield, looking for the pinch into the blue corner. Greasy Meister there. That's a response from Lethemir and Scrub Killer with a goal line save. Now up to Greasy, looking for the pass towards the backboard. Coming back out, it's Memory again. Been very well positioned on defense. Scrub Killer versus Lethemir. Scrub Killer pinches it to his corner again. The defense from girls holding on when they need it most. We've seen some, some success here coming from Ghost. This hasn't been a one-sided affair by any means. Memory, it's just been the smallest of mistakes coming from Memory and Lethemir that have separated these two teams. The final minute of game three. Down by one goal, Ghost needs to find a way to put it together if they want to see game four. Memory falling back. No boost in his own corner. He's now out on the backboard. Greasy Meister can take this one slow. As memory falls down. Greasy Meister up again onto the backboard once more. Falling back, allowing Scrub Killer to move in, hoping to bring out defenders. Nothing happens. He lets Lethemir hold on to ball control. A bump from memory, I believe, gave some more space to that ball, but Greasy Meister still makes the save. And despite the one failed kickoff this game, the defense from girls has been nearly perfect. As they have kept any true offensive plays from working on the Ghosts half. 20 seconds remaining, down by a one. A pass up to memory, looking for the shot, but doesn't find contact. Scrub Killer will be uncontested on the backboard with the ball, and he can just stall this play out, burn time off the clock. That's two players in the air here for girls. If Lethemir can find this angle, it'll go in. Does it happen? No, it is the post, but he's able to finish it off. The double commit in the corner means it's tied all up. Being able to just take this risk here and putting that one in off the inside of the post there, it looked like a feels bad man, just that slightest, the smallest of miss there, but able to follow it up. Great play there from Lethemir, the decision to commit to that ball. He had to, he had no other option, and now a tie game in four seconds. Lethemir has another opportunity to score here. Scrub Hill in the back will get the clear. He's got a decent amount of boost. Memory doesn't really kill it. Greasy Meister's up, tries to find it for Scrub, but he tries to keep it alive, but he can't. Overtime in game three. The kickoff. Golden Girls' favor. Memory falling back. Greasy Meister airborne. Into the corner. Memory plays it away. Greasy thinks about moving in, but doesn't. And he kind of zones Scrub Killer out of the play. The positional mistakes here gives Ghost a win in game three. Now you see Scrub Killer. He pushes forward on the play there, but there's no chance that, that Greasy Meister is ever going to go back. He's taking the long route back to that goal, going around the edge of the corner instead of moving directly and, and going diagonally across directly to the goal there. Scrub Killer, the last second Positional mistake, the mind lapse here is going to let go sneak in a win. Well, I don't I don't want to put the blame entirely on Scrub Killer. I feel like Greasy Meister taking that long path back. I don't think that there like was much he could have done. Greasy Meister needed to come back, and I think he was opting to go straight for the boost there. There was just nothing. It's just one of those situations where Scrub Killer figured, maybe I can challenge this ball here, not expecting memory to have the pace that he did coming up off the wall to take a shot there. Really well done there from, 
from memory. Yeah, on memory, taking advantage of the situation. Take a look at the highlights from that game. What a match it was. It looked like ghosts were all done, but they came back and they were able to fend off the monstrous plays from Scrub Killer. This first goal did not look possible, but he finds the opening, and the second one was just as monumental all by himself. Scrub Killer did massive work this game, but still, ghosts were able to find a way through. Yeah, with two defenders as well guarding the same angle, able to make that one happen here. This, this was that huge mm -hmm. communication error here we saw coming from girls that both players coming to the ball. And this, when Scrub Killer had no boost here, he fools memory into getting to that pre-jump there and just sticking on the ground. That's the power of the Batmobile, being such a flat ball, being able to get underneath it. Now, Lethemir here, at the end of the game, he needed, he had been struggling for accuracy the whole game. He finally finds just enough to give himself the second shot that he can't miss, ties up the game, and then it was a quick work in overtime on the defensive laps. And again, these, these defensive mistakes were what spelled the demise of girls in game I see, I see what you're talking about there. Greasy Meister, he makes that last second turn, mm -hmm. just going just a little bit up that wall there. That, <laughs> that is difficult, and you can see the two dads there watching. Scrub Killer's dad on the right and Jonathan Memory's dad there on the left. Watching, watching, lots of support. Maybe a little bit of friendliness between the two. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I, I would be. I'm very interested to hear, like, you know, the, the, if they have any choice words for each other. It's like, oh, why is, why is your kid beating my kids? Stop it, you know? <laughs> a lot of pride in your kids, especially Scrub Killer's dad. His, he has seen mm. a lot of success with his child, and, and he's he's been an active supporter for Scrub Killer for so long. Such a young child without the support. And this goes for all the Rocket players. Without the support of their parents, it just would not be possible. For sure. I mean, we met, we got to meet Scrub Killer about three years ago at the first RLCS finals, and his dad was right there beside him. I don't think I've ever actually talked to Scrub Killer without his dad being right there with him. He's accompanying him to everything, being very, very supportive. And it's, it's great to see the parents getting behind their kids here in esports. So game four, inbound here. Girls still with the two game advantage. If they take this game four, that'll be it. But game four has so much hanging on it for ghosts. They gotta wonder if they wanna see game five. They have to reverse sweep girls here if they wanna stay in the upper bracket. Lethemir with some of those last second heroics, able to kind of make up for what he might feel was a lacking game. Scrub killer, hoping for the fake on the ceiling reset. But didn't, didn't get any fish taking the bait. No memory. Pass one. Greasy Meister into the corner. Now Greasy back down. Lethemir pops it high. Scrub Killer will be the next one in. Lethemir's challenge goes neutral. Greasy Meister now up to Scrub Killer. Shot towards the net. Quick, aggressive play. And memory's got the read and he's got the boost in his own corner. Scrub Killer has to fall back. Memory now. Shot towards the goal. Be wide. Lethemir not there. To make a shot, but comes in with a second play. Scrub Killer is able to get the demolition and then quickly get back into goal. An attack from Lethemir. Two demolitions here, and all oh, the dribble pass one. Can he get Lethemir in goal? Gets the flick past him, and that's Scrub Killer for you, folks. There's a reason <laughs> he has been the two time winner of the Total Titans. Just by himself, able to dribble out both of these two defenders there. It's just so clear that his, his ability to. to to stop the ball and kill it on turn on a dime as well. It's so good and, and being using such a small flat car to get underneath the ball, that's really what gives Scrub that ability. You know, it's it's been a long time since there's been a player at this level of competition that I get excited when they have the ball with space because he just has the potential to completely dismantle the other team consistently. We've seen him do it a few times now. A bump onto the goalie as well. Greasy Meister's too far back to make work of it, but Scrub Kill is just trying to do it all by himself again. Looking for memory in the corner. Doesn't find him nearly. Gets the demolition. Greasy Meister now past Lethemir as well. Just trying to get the ball to Scrub. A nice setup. Memory's got it, but Scrub Kill is just patiently waiting out the touch, knowing it wasn't going to be that strong. But still, the defense holds on for Ghost. And we're going to stay at just 1-0 in favor of girls. And if you're a ghost in this situation, when you see Scrub Killer beginning to balance that ball on top of your car, you need to challenge it almost immediately because it, the second he gets that ball in that position, the ability to go for a quick flick and, and create power out of a shot, it's so easy for him. And you need to stop it, it's a huge threat. Memory down the field. Scrub Killer gets the loft to Greasy. Looks to hold on to it by himself. Kind of fake Lethemir into the air. The challenge comes through for Ghost, and they'll get back into the blue. Scrub Killer in the back, a nice demolition from on the memory. Gives Scrub Killer the space he needs, and out through the air, he's going to run a little bit short on boost here. Lethemir, be able to play to the side. 
Crazy Meister now off the wall, looking for the challenge, finds it, gets the dunk, and it's a two goal lead for girls. What a play. Here, you see Memory, he tries to go for something sneaky here. Putting, trying to get that ball on the left side of his car and get it past Greasy Meister and go around him. Unfortunately, Greasy Meister had that option covered. Now here at halftime, girls with a two goal lead. They successfully avoided kickoff goals and immediate mistakes after kickoff. Those were their demise in game three. Reason Meister pass one, let them now back into the corner. Scrub killer coming out of the play. They go across midfield. Out of boost, he'll rotate around while Greasy Meister moves up. Nice slow play. Make sure he gains full control. Now playing it across the scrub killer, all gassed up. Left me on the backboard, he'll play it back down, pick up his own corner. We had scrub killer chasing him, and now the ball's gonna stay here. Left me now versus Greasy Meister. Tried to fake him out, Greasy Meister. Finds that perfect balance. Look at the ball off of his opponent's hood. Scrub kill it in. Winning the 50 50. Lethemir has to play it across his own net. A dangerous situation. Memory also able to get in and back up the ball into the corner. Nice play there in the tight window. You see Greasy Meister not being super aggressive. Happy to let Scrub just be a nuisance in enemy territory and just hold on to this two goal lead. Make sure they don't get scored on any sort of pinches. Memory through the air. Scrub kill onto the backboard. They bumps into the, each other in the corner for an extended period of time. Lethemir tries to go for a flick, but their attack just wasn't fast enough to capitalize on that mistake. Scrub killer kind of over-rotated Greasy Meister there as he came out into the corner, both looking for boost. They bump into each other, but no harm done here for girls just yet. Scrub killer now with a shot at the net. He's going to put it up high. Memory moving into net. Lethemir just trying to create interference. Scrub killer's shot is wide as we hit the final minute of game four. Memory moving up, and Greasy just gets it straight through the back line. He should be able to find the shot. Goes for the slow play. Beautiful mechanical accuracy and precision from Greasy Meister. This is just a very smart read here from Greasy Meister. He recognizes that ball dribbling towards the goal there. Folks, that is the 7-11 dual force achievement unlocked by Greasy Meister with a seventh gold 11 save this match. And this weekend only, you can get a two for one deal on brisk beverages exclusively at 7-Eleven. Type exclamation point dual force into Twitch chat for more info. Scrub Kill is gonna put one more in here and this game is looking out of hand for girls. You see Lethemir there just trying to Bump out Greasy Meister, expecting Greasy Meister to follow up on him. Scrub, this guy, he is just aware with all, he, he's always aware of whatever is happening on the field. He's following up and doing it himself. Well, they gave Ghosts some moments of opportunity, a, a glimpse of light of being able to win this series in game three. Game four has just been all girls as they've been able to completely dominate here on the pitch. 30 seconds remaining, a four goal comeback, possible in twos, but very, very difficult, especially against the likes of Greasy and Scrub. And as they clear shot after shot, let's continue as nails in the coffin on girls' upper bracket hopes, or ghost upper bracket hopes, rather. Looking like they'll drop them down. And again, today, we're gonna see two teams eliminated here from the Universal Open. The stain in that upper bracket, very important. And right now, girls have done everything they need here. The clock expired. You can't score four in zero time. That's going to be girls moving on. The former world champion, Greasy Meister, a little bit of redeemed glory for him. Coming in with a very impressive performance in Scrub Killer. We finally get to see him beginning to compete. And oh, is it exciting? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this was great. I mean, when you talk about who runs the world, the answer is girls. Mm, totally. And uh, we got to see that play out <laughs> right here today. Uh, I got to say, though, uh, between Greasy and Scrub Killer, it was nonstop achievements. It was nonstop scoring. It was really impressive. So, I mean, what is it that, that separates Greasy Meister from, from kind of the pack? We talk about Scrub Killer. He's young. He's won the 1v1 tournaments. He's a sick player. So why Greasy? Greasy Meister, in my mind, has, has some of the best just mental game on, this, on the pitch, he's so good at keeping his wits about him in situations, and there was, there was a season of RLCS where his team was really going through some bad emotional stuff, and he was a rock for those guys the mm -hmm. entire time. He knows how to keep his wits about him no matter what the scoreline is. Yeah, he's just so incredibly fast, and I'm, I'm sure you'll see, we talked about it, I think it was in game number two, just how much Greasy Meister was following up on that ball. He's such an incredibly fast player, it's hard to stop him, and he reads the game so, so well. 
Absolutely, and uh, he was the recipient of our Brist 7-Eleven Dual Force Achievement sure there. Was. So as we check out these replays, you can keep an eye on him putting in that extra work, supporting Scrub Killa, and making these plays absolutely beautiful in tandem. It feels like these last two games really were just all about Scrub Killa there. Great job there from Greasy, kind of getting in the way and making it difficult for these two defenders just by positioning himself well on the field. You can see from the defender's perspective, from memory here, just trying to challenge the ball on Greasy Meister. Again, that speed, he controls the ball on the wall and he follows it up quickly as well. He just, the, the scrub killer gets me excited about watching a man with ball control in a way that I haven't been excited in a long time. Like I see him and I'm like, he's coming down on that first play. And I was like, there's just no chance. Is there? It's scrub killer. Maybe there's actually a chance. And oh my goodness, the plays he's able to pull off. Scrub killer, I loved it. All right, well, we have uh, just a short break. When we come back from that, we're going to have Larry on the floor with our winning team. That's going to be girls, and I'm excited to hear the breakdown from these two players on this match. Stay tuned, guys.